In a previous video, I was looking at this light bulb supplied by ZW Link. It's an RGBW um, smart bulb, uh, which is an internet connected device. It's basically meant to look like a Philips Hue. Um, I looked into the device in more detail in my last video, and I also set the device up to use its um, existing firmware and its existing Android app. Uh, if you want to have a look on the, the comments, you can get a link to that particular video. In this video, I want to go a step further with this bulb. Um, when I saw the bulb advertised, um, and I knew it was a, a, a web-enabled bulb, I thought there was a reasonably good chance it might have a, a microcontroller on board called an ESP8266. Um, having received it and had a look at it, it turns out, yes, it does. Um, and that's really good news for a hacker because the ESP8266 has a number of alternative firmwares. Um, in my, one of my other videos, I um, uploaded one of those firmwares to a Sonoff uh, home control home automation device, um, a, a socket in that case, um, but this one's a bulb. Um, to look at the bulb itself, it's got an aluminium case and it's got this plastic uh, lens on top. To access the electronics, the lens just pops right off, um, which is nice and easy. Um, unfortunately, unlike the Sonoff devices, the pads which we're going to use to reprogram this, they're not um, proper headers, they're, they're just little contact pads on the uh, board itself and they're going to be little fidgety devices to do. So what I'm going to do in order to solve them, first of all I'm just going to use this um, uh, lamp socket as a holder. This is definitely not plugged in, um, obviously you wouldn't want to be doing that uh, with live mains attached to the bulb at the time. Um, looking at the board itself, it has LEDs around the outside. It has an ESP8266, as I mentioned already. Um, it's got its um, flash controller, which is uh, where it stores its firmware. And then it has this microcontroller on board here. It's an LED driver, in fact, uh, which is uh, driving the current to the LEDs. That device is called an MY9291. When I first got the bulb, I, I played around for some time trying to work out how these things worked, because documentation was quite hard to find on the internet. Um, about the time that I discovered some documentation, a chap uh, who goes by the name of Tinkerman, Tinkerman um, I'll put a link to his website below, he um, discovered uh, some firmware for this bulb, which was originally designed by a company called AI Thinker. Um, he adapted that firmware to make it an Arduino, to turn it into an Arduino library, and um, since then I've used that Arduino library uh, with ESP Easy um, to make a version of ESP Easy, which, fingers crossed, will um, be able to control this light bulb. Now, as I said, the pads themselves, they are well marked, but they are kind of pretty tiny and, and hard to, to get to. So rather than, than fidget too much with them, what I've done is I've pre-prepared this. So this is a USB to serial um, a device. Um, it's set to 3.3 volts. And what I've done is I've popped a, a straightforward header in the top there. And I've attached these, these very fine pieces of equipment wire to it. Um, these are 24 gauge, I think, very, very fine wires. Um, and that's what I'm going to connect, hopefully, to these pads. I tried it with some thicker wires earlier on, but when I uh, tried to manipulate things, they, they just kept breaking off the pads. So here's what I'm going to do. I've got my soldering iron already warmed up. I'm going to start just by taking a little bit of solder. And... Um, I've done this once already, but I'm just going to refresh the solder on these pads on the board itself. And I'm building up, hopefully, just a little bit of clean solder. Um, the pads that I'm looking for are marked as uh, IO0, 3.3 volts, RX and TX, and ground. Now that I've done that, I'm just going to use a uh, these cables. Unfortunately, I didn't have a full set of colours to choose from um, because this was just kind of scraps that were uh, in my, my cable bin. So um, I've had to sort of take a, a wee bit of licence here. Um, I had a bit of black, which is normally ground, so I'm going to continue with that and hopefully get that attached. That's attached quite nicely. Um, I'm now going to try and find the RX and TX, which unfortunately in my example, are entirely white. So uh, let me just find them on here. So this one here is RX. Now the normal tradition is that you connect RX to TX and TX to RX. So I'm going to try this uh, for the first time and if need be I'll change it around. 
Um, with these very fine cables, it's usually just a little touch that will get them connected. So that's my RX connected to my TX. Um, hopefully then, this one here connects to the RX. I did have some red cable, so hopefully this red cable I can use to connect to the 3.3 volts. And finally, this last white cable here, this is also connected to ground. When I power up the microcontroller with IO0 connected to ground, it should put it into um, a sort of bootloader mode, which will hopefully allow me upload my firmware so very carefully I'm just going to pop that to the side now unfortunately I've managed to solder the cables around my soldering iron but we'll uh, ignore that faux pas right now and then we're just going to plug this in and then we'll go to the computer now and see if we can't upload this from the computer Okay, so now that we've got the uh, smart bulb wired up, what we're going to do is upload the um, firmware. Now, the firmware I'm going to upload is a, a version of ESP Easy. Um, currently, it's not as part of the main branch because uh, although I've got it up and running on a light bulb, um, and I have uh, made a pull request to the ESP Easy um, a GitHub, um, it hasn't been accepted yet. So, what I've got instead is a pre-compiled bin. Um, which I created using the Arduino environment. Um, that's maybe something for another video, showing you how to do that. Um, but I've basically just borrowed the Flash tool, which normally comes with ESP Easy, and I'm going to use that to upgrade um, the or update the firmware on my light bulb. Before I do that, I'm just going to take a, a, a basic um, step to clear the flash memory of the bulb. Now this shouldn't be, and it wasn't, I have managed to flash this bulb um, without doing this process. Um, but uh, because I've flashed the bulb previously and played around with it, I'm, I'm just going to clear its memory, it flash memory basically. Um, so for that, what I'm going to do is just open a command window, a command prompt. Now I've already got Python 2.7 installed on this machine, and I've also used the pip install tool to install the ESP tool. Um, so what I'm just going to do is use that to, to uh, flash the memory with basically zeros all the way through the memory. So I type in esptool.py minus p com7, which is the com port that I've checked the um, serial adapter is, is currently using on my computer. Um, erase underscore uh, flash. And if I've remembered correctly, this should just take a moment or two and it'll erase the flash on the um, controller itself. Um, as I said, this is um, not strictly necessary, um, but uh, it certainly, um, a, because because I've worked with this chip already, I'm, I'm just being, being absolutely sure. So now that that's me um, erased the flash on the smart bulb, um, what I'm now going to do is just run the installer. Now what I'll do is I'll put a link in the um, uh, the description below um, for this. Um, hopefully able to download the files from my, my OneDrive account. I'll try and share it from there. Um, and I'll, I'll uh, put, upload it as a zip file. So uncompress the zip file, put it somewhere where you know you'll find it. And then what I'm going to do is run this flash esp8266.exe. Now that'll ask for the COM port, it's COM7 um, that it's going to choose. And I've stripped all the other firmwares out here, so I'm just going to pick my firmware, which is called ESP Easy, my 92914096. Now what I should stress before you do this is, um, this bulb is made by various different manufacturers, and whilst mine arrived um, with a full 4K of memory on the flash, 
Um, there may be versions there with smaller amounts of memory, in which case um, I wouldn't attempt to upload this firmware to it. Um, we should be able to compile a different version for 1 meg systems, um, but I haven't done so as yet and I don't know if there's any of them about. So double check please before you try this. Um, basically just find uh, locate the flash memory, look up the uh, part code on you know uh, using Google and you should be able to find its flash memory. And now that I've picked my um, firmware, I'm just going to click flash and hopefully Yep, the flash is now writing. This will take a moment or two to do. And it says flash complete. So that should now be uploaded. What I'll need to do now is um, disconnect the bulb itself. Um, because before I can now um, uh, log into the bulb, I'm going to have to um, start the bulb up, but without the uh, reset. So um, I'll do this off camera, but I'm just going to desolder all the wires to the bulb. And once that's done, I'll plug the bulb into the mains uh, and hopefully I'll be able to pick it up. So that's the bulb now basically removed of all the wires that I used to upload the firmware. Um, I've plugged the bulb into the mains. You can see that's happening off camera. Um, and in a moment or two, hopefully when I have a look, yep, in the um, work for the wireless devices, a wireless device has been created called ESP underscore zero. Um, yours may be a, a, a different um, number there, but it will certainly have ESP in it. Um, that's um, what I'm now going to connect to. And this should be now connect me connecting to the bulb itself. So I'm going to ask to connect. It uh, automatically redirected into um, a setup uh, for me here and the setup wizard's now going to start so um, the bulb itself's picking up on various different um, uh, wireless routers in the area I'm just going to point it to mine I'm also going to give a password this is in plain text or it displays in plain text when you paste it in and for that reason I'm going to just uh, stop the, uh, the footage for a second or two I'll go through a few seconds. It counts down from 20 seconds down to 15. So I should make clear what's happening off camera here is the bulb is now disconnected completely from the serial adapter. That's very, very important. Um, and it's been plugged into, um, into a light fitting and is now powered. So you can see now that the bulb has uh, been connected and it now has an IP address. Um, I'm just going to click proceed to the main config. And if I wait just a second or two, now I can set up the device. I'll just go through in a second or two um, one that I've prepared earlier. So this is um, a, an example of one of these smart bulbs that I've already um, set up. So what I'm just going to do is take you through some of the main configuration. Um, in my main configuration, whoops, it is it. I'll just need to give it a password. So in my main configuration here, um, it's showing me that it's an ESP A Mega, which is the latest version of ESP Easy. That's what I compiled it for. Um, and I've given it the name Smart Bulb. The name doesn't really matter as much, uh, although that'll relate to how I address this through MQTT. Um, looking at the config, um, I've given it the name Smart Bulb. I've given it an SSD to connect to, um, a WAPA key. I haven't done with this bulb what I normally do, which is to give it a static IP address. And um, that's something I'll probably do later on. Um, under controllers, and uh, this version is a little bit different from versions I've used previously. I can actually just um, remove this controller. The controller that I'm using, the one that's most important here, um, for me at least, is OpenHab MQTT. Um, so I have that enabled. I, you could, if you were using um, Domits, you could use one of these several different ones. Um, but no, that's the one that I'm using there because it's an open hub, an open hub system that, I'm, uh, that I ha have on my um, home automation controller. Under the hardware, um, I didn't really have to change anything here at all. 
the SDA and SCL pins that are being used um, on the chip, they're actually not connected to anything in this particular bulb. So next I have is devices. Um, so the device that I've got installed is MY9291. So hopefully you can see now the settings for the device. So the device itself is MY9291. I didn't bother for a name with this device. It doesn't seem to matter for the open hub configuration. It possibly does matter for other devices that, that are there. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how that's working. Um, the DI um, and DC um, clock, that's um, the data input pin of the MY9291 RGBW controller. Um, that's GPIO 13. Um, it's connected to on the ESP8266 bulb and the DCKI pin is connected to DPIO 15. Also make sure that this is set to be enabled. And once we've done so, we click submit. And that's the device itself set up. The way that I tested the bulb to begin with is um, using a using a, a, an app, a, a Google Chrome app called MQTT Lens. Um, what I've done is um, already set up the MQTT Lens to talk to my MQT, MQTT controller, my Mosquito controller. Um, and to send a message to the light bulb, what I'm doing is in forward slash smart bulb, which is the name of the light bulb itself, forward slash command and the message which is going to control it is MY9291 comma and then we have four values between 0 and 255 um, so if I wanted to send um, a red signal it would be 255 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 which is just going to set the um, LED, red LEDs If I click publish, my lamp now turns red. If I want to uh, add some white com components to that lamp, I can just type in 255 for the um, message. So it's now MY92912500255 and publish that. And the light bulb now turns to a, a, a warm, slightly pinky uh, white color. So that's the MQTT commands that are going to be used with this bulb. Um, depending on your home automation system, you now just need to program those commands into your home automation system and now you can control the bulb.